Welcome to Woodwork and Fever and More. Today's project we're going to be building a cedar lantern. I found some few boards out of a house that I was remodeling. As soon as I got it later that day my wife asked me if I could build her a little lantern. We bought a new uh, table for the living room so I found a picture online that I basically wanted to kind of got an idea of what it's going to look like and so they um so my wife bought a candle and i basically used the candle to uh, kind of scale up what kind of lantern i was looking for so here i rough down uh, cut roughly some materials just to make a, a little model of like what i wanted to do i was just sketching it up on the pad a little bit and then just building it just to get an idea so i can put the candle inside and actually scale from there so once I had a basic model put together I basically uh, figured out um, cut the corners off and put the little beams up so I took it over to the table saw and cut out the little corners so that way it can sit pretty much all the way down through once I uh, nailed those in, I put uh, little brad nails, uh, 23 gauge, and they're about an inch long. So then I cut out little pieces for the bottom of the lantern so that way the candle can stay in place so it doesn't look like it slipped out. And at this point, this is when I realized that it's a little too small I just basically uh, started all over again so that piece on the right you see that's the old one so I started to cut everything new I scaled everything up to make it a little bit more proportional to the candle and off camera I basically cut which you already seen in the beginning of the video there's no point of start cutting everything all over again I cut down and I made it about 12 inches tall I think after I taped the the bottom together before I nailed them I wanted to basically make sure that I have all the pieces in so I basically just used the tape and uh, put all the pieces in before I nail them and glue them and then decide that I you know if I don't like the way it looks so that way I don't have to pull the nails out and have holes and stuff in there so I used some painters tape and then I cut down little thin pieces they're about a quarter inch and I was using the table saw and had to use some different methods because the pieces keep getting smaller and smaller and uh, that's where I am installing them right now I am dry fitting them and that's why I use the tape on top and the bottom once I installed the horizontal quarter inch pieces I ended up cutting the vertical ones um, I think I ended up skipping of me actually cutting every little piece because the camera would just be going back and forth so I kind of figured I'll just cut them off camera and just kind of show you putting it together on the actual lantern itself instead of moving the camera a little too many times so after I installed the little pieces on the bottom I started to do the base the base wasn't wide enough so I had to glue two pieces together once I got them together I router out a little edge around the base uh, I was playing around the different little bits trying to figure out which one I like and ended up landing on this one once uh, I routed this whole piece out I ended up sanding it to kind of get rid of all the really sharp edges I didn't go into details in sanding it once I was done sanding it I realized that my camera was already off but I already cut the little pieces on top I ended up cutting them at about two inches and it's going to be about an inch deep and an inch above the the top part and I ended up cutting them at a 45 degree angle but once I was done cutting I look over the camera was dead so I didn't end up filming it so that was done off camera and after I glued the pieces up I ended up putting some brad nails on the lower part so that way once I install it you can't see the nails sticking out 
and then I ended up using exactly the same router bit with the same height and kind of going around and I tried to match the design where I had a base with the same router bit that I went through and have a little same shape and then have the same one on top so that way it doesn't look like you just have one on the bottom and doesn't match so just trying to play around make sure I, I have more than one angle of the same one and here I basically dry fit it to see how nice it would look and once I liked the way everything turned out I ended up tearing the, the tape off once all the pieces fell down I started to build the smaller pieces so I ended up stacking them together and instead of measuring every single one I put them all in stack and measured that quarter inch and drew a line down the middle so then that way I can do basically a little assembly where I can glue them up all at once without having to measure every single one that's where you see the two lines right there and I basically did a little assembly where I started to glue up and then put a little bit of nails in there the nails will just hold it in place until the glue dries so once I got the little pieces all nailed put together I ended up actually starting started to put together the main base so I used the tape and the red nails to do the bottom and I kind of liked having the tape there just kind of reinforced a little bit more th because those are like the main pieces that hold everything up. Once I got the base and the poles that are going up nailed in I started to start from the bottom so I ended up working my way up. Uh, just to uh, kind of be blunt to everybody, I don't know the technical names and words of everything that I'm building and doing. So I'm trying to explain it in the best way I can. So here that's where I started to put the bottom, the base on. And then once I had the two little, well four the little pieces glued up, I ended up, um, before I did the top and taped the top, I started to go around and install the little um, kind of like a windows looking pieces. So once I put in the pieces that look like little windows up on top, I realized that I forgot to nail one of the pieces down in the bottom where the candle holds it. So once that was done, I went ahead and started to glue up the top part. Don't really know the name for it, but I'm just going to call it a roof chimney, I guess. I don't know. And uh, once that was done, I wiped it down, all the glue squeeze out, and looked it around and liked what I seen. Once that was done, I'm basically just showing you a close-up of actually the all being put together. Uh, you can see the little uh, holes where the brad nails went in, or actually they're called pin nails, I'm sorry, I've been calling it brad nails the entire time. And uh, I realized that if you don't push the gun really hard into the wood, being that the wood is cedar, uh, you wouldn't be able to see it, but it's okay, it gives a little bit of a character. After a little bit of light sanding, I ended up putting some wood polish and conditioner. It's called beeswax and orange oil. Thank you for watching this video all the way. If you would like to buy any tools or similar tools from what I use, I didn't buy them all on Amazon. In the description down below, I have an affiliate link where you can go on Amazon and buy some of the tools that I use. Please like, subscribe, share. If you have any questions, please ask them down below. I will do my best to respond. Videos don't come out once a week. Whenever I finish a project, I try my best to edit them as fast as I can and upload them. Once again, thank you for watching. See you in the next project.